these weapons, in a sense, that are being used against us, we have to understand because it, it, this is where a lot of uh, a lot of people are waking up from in the world today. They they're awakening to something really wrong, quote unquote, going down in in society. They know the governments are up to something extremely dark. Incidentally, government um, that the root the Latin root of that word gubernmente is mente is the mind and guberni is to control. So you know nothing's hidden there, is it? So they're using extremely sophisticated tactics to control us. And what are they trying to control? They're trying to control our creative power. Yeah, they want physical human beings to do physical work and, and produce resources. But most importantly, as you do research and you go down through the, through the layers of, of the understanding, um, you find that um, it, not only do they want our physical power, they want our spiritual power. They want the creative energy that we wield through our thoughts and words and feelings. And so it's very important that you understand that you are the god of your own universe. You are the king, the queen, the sovereign of your own inner kingdom. And if you abdicate from that responsibility, if you fall from grace and you go down into the into the material realm and start wanting and becoming attached to all of these things outside of yourself in a very unnatural and lustful and greedy way and get into these emotional tantrums when you don't get what you want in the material world and stay, keep your tent pitched there. If, if, if you don't realize that you're doing that, then you're going to have a tremendous amount of stress and suffering. And so any moment, any time, any place, anywhere, the game is always the same, is moving your, your tent on, onto the other side of the river and getting onto the land, moving back to the promised land where all of the juices, where everything that you could possibly want is already there. It already exists inside of you. So you can access all these feelings. And that doesn't mean that you can't have things in the world. Of course it does. We, 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 we create such amazing abundance um, in our little world, but we do it naturally. It's material wealth and, 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 and um, equipment and, and kit and, and everything that we need to practically to, to move forward in our destinies is, is, comes as a natural consequence of, of the law of harmony because we're in tune with something so powerful inside us. And the reason why we're in tune with it is because we spend hours and hours and hours and days and weeks and months and years with an intention of getting more and more and more in tune with it. The reason why we found the, the promised land is because we've slain Goliath. 